A nurse is caring for a patient and hears the physician state that the patient's lung compliance has, de uh, has decreased. The nurse understands that decreased lung compliance indicates A. Air will move more easily into the alveoli. B. The work of breathing will be reduced in this patient. C. A greater expiratory effort will be needed for this patient to exhale. D. A greater inspiratory effort will be needed to get air into the alveoli. Answer is D. Lung compliance is the ease of distension of the lungs during inspiration. If the patient uses more effort or work of breathing, then compliance of lung tissues have decreased. Number two, the nurse is assessing a patient at risk for developing acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS. The nurse would assign the highest risk value for which of the following patients. The patient A, post open heart surgery, B, with a chest tube, C, who has aspirated gastric stomach contents, D, post-motor vehicular accident, or MVA. Answer is letter C. The patient who has aspirated gastric content might go into shock from aspirating acidic contents. There is no relationship of ARDS to chest tubes. Open heart surgery, or MVAs, unless the patient's situation is complicated by shock. <clears throat> Number three, a nurse is evaluating a patient post cardiac arrest for acute respiratory distress syndrome (ARDS). The nurse would, eval uh, would be evaluating the patient for which of the following early signs and symptoms of ARDS: Letter A, tachypnea; B, hyperventilation; C, coma; D, decreased peak airway pressures. <clears throat> Answer is A. Tachypnea, tachycardia, and hypertension can all be signs a patient is going into ARDS, but the cardinal sign is decreasing PO2 or PO2 when the FiO2 is increasing. Hypoventilation and coma are very late signs and peak airway pressure will increase. <clears throat> Number four. An experienced nurse is explaining positive and expiratory pressure PEEP to a new critical care nurse. The best explanation of this therapy would include A. It will decrease the functional residual capacity FRC. B. It will help decrease cellular oxygenation C. It is used to increase alveolar surface area D. It can be used very effectively to prevent the intubation of a patient with severe Hypoxia. <clears throat> Number four le uh, answer is letter C. PEEP expands the alveolar surface area, therefore increasing PO2 and decreasing PCO2. PEEP increases the FRC and can only be used after the patient is intubated. <clears throat> Number five, to improve patient outcomes and standardize. Nursing during mechanical ventilation, bundles of ventilator care are recommended by the Institute of Healthcare Improvement. Which of the following is included in this protocol? Letter A. Using proton pump inhibitors to decrease gastric acid secretion. B. Suctioning the patient every two hours to prevent mucus pooling orally. C. Washing hands before and after performing nursing care to prevent further introduction of pathogens. D. Keeping the patient sedated for the first three days of being mechanically ventil uh, ventilated in the ICU. <clears throat> Number five answers letter A. Although B to D are important in the care of the patient on mechanical ventilation, only A is included in the IHCI ventilator care bundle. <clears throat> Number six. Your patient is ordered oxygen via a rebreather mask. The nurse providing this low flow oxygen delivery system understands that this method of delivery answer letter A gives the highest FiO2. <clears throat> B delivers a precise concentration of oxygen. C requires humidity during delivery. D uses a reservoir without flaps on the oxygen mask.
Answer number six is letter D. A rebreather has a reservoir with flaps on the side of the mask that do not open and close with breathing. It delivers less concentration than, uh, than a non-rebreather, <clears throat> which has flaps on the mask that close during inhalation and open at exhalation. This allows the patient to breathe almost 100% FiO2. As he or she exhales most of the carbon dioxide and inhales most oxygen, a Venturi mask gives precise concentration of oxygen. Humidity is given with mask and the highest FiO2 without MV or mechanical ventilation is delivered by a non-rebreather. <clears throat> Number 7. A 19-year-old male is admitted with a large spontaneous pneumothorax. He is intubated with an endotracheal tube and placed on mechanical ventilator, which physical finding will alert the nurse to a potential problem in respiratory functions before a chest x-ray confirms placement. Letter A. Dullness to percussion in the third to fifth intercostal spaces, mid-clavicular -clavicular line. Letter B. Decreased paradoxical motion. Letter C. Louder, louder breath sound on the right chest. Letter D. pH of 7.36 in arterial blood gases. <clears throat> Number 7 answer is letter C. Louder breath, sound, uh, breath sounds over the right chest wall indicate that the endotracheal tube may be misplaced in the right mainstream bronchus and only one lung is being mechanically ventilated. Number eight, the signs and symptoms of acute respiratory failure can be easily overlooked. Knowing this, the nurse should be observant for which of the following that indicate the early stage of this medical emergency. Letter A, cyanosis and coma. Letter B, agitation and confusion. Letter C, hypotension and bradycardia. Letter D, poor respiratory effort and mottling. Answer for number 8 is letter B. The other signs and symptoms are late. The nurse must catch that agitation and confusion occur first. <clears throat> number 9. A nurse is teaching a patient about status asthmaticus. Included in this teaching would be the hallmark symptom of A. Gargles B. Pale, lifeless skin C. Fainting and low blood pressure D. Wheezes <clears throat> Number 9 answers letter D. Wheezes are musical sounds produced when the muscle between the upper airway structures constrict. Gurgles are mucus in the upper airway and usually clear with coughing. B and C are unrelated. <clears throat>